Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm super excited to make this video for you today. This video is going to teach you a few things. Number one, how I shoot my YouTube videos. Number two, how I shoot my gaming videos. If any of you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I've been working really hard reorganizing and putting together IKEA furniture and trying to put it all together and become a little more organized. Everything that I talk about today, I will put in a link below. There'll be a collection that'll take you to more collections of either things that I think are cool, things that I want. I also have a camo collection. Make sure you guys check that out at the end of this video or check it out now while you're watching the video at the same time, put it in another tab, do whatever it is that you do. So to start this video off, I'm gonna start and show you how I would make a basic YouTube video. Now there's a bunch of different things that you can use. The easiest way to make a video for YouTube is to use either an iMac or one of the MacBooks. They have an iSight built in, comes with iMovie. Basically, you just turn on the camera, start talking, and edit an iMovie. When it comes to audio, I'm super picky. I always use either a blue microphone or a Yeti microphone, which just plugs directly into your computer using USB. As far as lighting, I like to shoot during the day and have daylight just wafting in. Honestly, for the longest time before I actually got LED lights, I still, to this day, almost prefer using these simple stand lights. For actual videos like this, I just recently upgraded to a Canon 70D, and I by far would recommend this above all other SLRs because it does autofocus. But you can use many different microphones. Right now, I'm using a Sennheiser wireless microphone, so I've got a microphone right here. If I'm shooting with more than one person, I will use the Rode video mic. It's also great because I travel a lot, so I like to be able to have things that are smaller and compact that I can just take with me on the go. Now speaking of on the go, my iPhone is probably my number one go-to camera when it comes to vlogging. It's easy, I always have it with me, and the audio is actually really fantastic. Next up, this is my ultimate favorite vlogging camera. It's not the best quality because it is a really old camera, but it still is my favorite and I've been using it for my Vlogmas videos. It's the Canon 960. Now, this is probably maybe a four or five year old camera, but the audio on it is perfect. The video files aren't too huge that if you're vlogging every day, a lot of the other ones, massive files. So I still love this camera. But if you are looking to up your quality, this is my second go-to camera. It's the Canon N and it's this cute little square camera. It has touch screen on the back. It shoots in 1080p and it also will connect to Wi-Fi. So you can take all of the photos and the videos that you're shooting on the go. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi, you can get them on your phone immediately. Another vlogging camera camera that I really, really like is the Samsung Galaxy camera. The only problem is it's kind of big, but it's pretty sweet because basically, if you've ever used an Android phone, this is essentially a phone without the phone capabilities in a camera body. So now that you've got all of these random things to make your videos, most of the time I use Final Cut Pro X. Now a lot of people always have all these negative things to say about it, unless you've actually used it and you get used to it. For vlogging and simple edits, this is by far, it's perfect. It may come as a surprise to many of you, but I've actually started using my PC almost more than my Mac, which leads me into my gaming setup. For my gaming channel, this is how I do it. So for game capture, this is the little guy that does pretty much all of the hard work. This is the Elgato HD game capture. So I have the USB plugged into my PC and the HDMI in, I have plugged into my Xbox. Now if you'll notice, I have three monitors. This is definitely not necessary at all. But this first monitor is what I have my gameplay on. The second two monitors are connected to my PC. From here, I will connect this headset into this Astro mix amp. And from there, I will connect the optical cable from my Xbox to the mix amp. I will then connect the mix amp to my computer. So not only will I be able to hear the game audio, I'll be able to use the built-in microphone to record the voiceover for the gameplay. After that, I will switch the Logitech camera software to make sure that it's using the correct mix amp audio input. So it will not only be recording the Logitech video, but it'll be using the audio from the microphone. What mostly matters when it comes to a lot of gameplay is the audio. So I will still use that Yeti microphone or I will use a headset that has built-in audio. I will then start the recording process for the camera and the Xbox in the Elgato Game Capture HD software kind of at the same time. So I play my game, I record the audio, I record the video, and then I take this all into Premiere. And from there, I sync it all up, edit it, and post it to the internet for all of you guys to enjoy. I still do all of this editing myself and it takes a really long time. So when people are like, why didn't you post any gameplay videos? It's because I've either been spending all of the time editing or I've just been playing and not recording. Now moving on to my gaming setup. As you'll notice here, 
here I have a bunch of HDMI cables that are kind of coming up behind my little entertainment center. Now what I'll do is I will usually swap these out and put them into the Elgato game capture depending upon which game system I want to capture. The monitors that I use are Asus monitors. A lot of people are always like, how can you play games on such a small screen? I prefer playing on a smaller screen. There's so much less screen lag when you're playing first person shooters. I promise you, try playing on a massive 55 inch TV and then drop down to one of these guys. You'll be like, oh man, MLG, sign me up because I'm a pro. So this desk was my most recent purchase from Ikea. I had a nice man come and put it together for me. I can hold all of my games, all of my consoles, and my cards against humanity. This is the best game in the world. I don't know if that means that I'm a terrible person, but if it does, sign me up because this game is amazing. So I've got all these files from shooting videos. What do you do with them all? Where do you store them? I'm a huge fan of these G drives purely because they look good and they match everything. There may be better hard drives out there. I actually don't know, but I stand by these drives just completely wholeheartedly. I've never had a problem with any of them. So I've so far actually am pretty happy with them. Now that I think about it, they've survived trips around the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super excited to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks on how I make YouTube videos. And honestly, the bottom line is if you have a camera or an iPhone or anything, you're set to go. Most of my first YouTube videos that I ever made were made on my MacBook with my eyesight. You're on your way to YouTube victory.